Hello internet people. Did your WordPress website just crash? You were just coding along, updating your stuff in WordPress, and boom, you have no more website. No worries. In this video, I'll show you how to troubleshoot the most common issues when the WordPress crashes. Tip sweat punch. All right. Before we start, please make sure you've backed up your website. Even if you can't access WordPress and nothing is working, the files might come handy later. If you want to know how to back up your WordPress website, check out the video that will appear on your screen now. First, think about what was the last thing you did on the site. Maybe you were installing a plugin or updating your WordPress to a newer version. This will give you clues what might have caused the issue. I have a site here that isn't working and I can't access WordPress admin. In this case, I've broken my site on purpose and we will fix it during this video. So your error message might say something else. Now go to your cPanel and click on File Manager. Go to Public HTML folder and find WP Content folder. Maybe you were updating your theme. Let's see if the error is caused by themes. Simply rename themes folder to something else. I'll just add number two to it and quick look if anything happened on the site. Nope. And nope. All right, next rename plugins folder. Again, I'll just add number two at the end. And let's look at the site. Okay, some progress. Instead of error page, we have now a white page. And what about WP admin? Oh, nice. It is showing some signs of life. Arnie, how are you feeling about this beast? Ugly motherfucker. So, looks like the issue is somewhere in the plugins folder. Just rename themes folder back to normal and refresh the site. Progress. The homepage is partially showing up now. Let's dig deeper into the plugins folder. First, rename the plugins folder back to normal, then go inside the folder. Now you have to start renaming the folders one by one. I would start with plugins that you have recently added. So let's say if this post in page plugin is causing the issue, quickly rename it and refresh the website. Nope, not that one. Let's just change the post in page plugin back to normal. What about next one? Schema. Let me rename it. Refresh. And booyaga! We are back in business. You can now start dancing with two chicas and with tank top with suspenders. With suspenders. This means that the schema plugin was causing the issue. What you can do now is either delete the whole plugin or go to your WP admin and update it and see if that helps. If your issue is not caused by plugins or themes, another thing you can do is rename other files in the WP content folder, such as cache files and other folders. These might also cause errors. If none of these helped, check out this brilliant blog post by WP Beginner, which digs deep into 25 different issues with WordPress. If that doesn't help, your only option is to restore your website from a backup. If you want to learn how to do it, check out the video that will appear on your screen now. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. If you want to know how to set up an automatic backup in WordPress, check out the top video. And if you want to optimize your WordPress for speed, check out the second video. Whoosh!